Do you have any positive news on players for, for this weekend? I mean, you were without what eight. Last yes, exactly. Nine uh, nine players were out. So um, not many changes because we have many uh, long-term injuries. Uh, the good thing is that Patrick Roberts is, is back because he was um, not available because he was on loan for Man City. So he's back. It's also good news that uh, Grant Handy had a normal week. He's also fully fit. And um, yeah, the last week he was just ready for a few minutes. But right now he's also available. And some good news also with uh, Moritz Leitner. So since uh, two days he's back in team training. We are still a bit careful with him, but at least he will travel with us um, um, to Burnley. And um, yeah, he will be in the squad as well. Grant, is he fit to start now? Yes, he would be would be uh, fit to start definitely. So because he's meanwhile since ten days back in team training, and for that, um, yeah, on the negative side, we just have um, yeah one hit against uh, against. Uh, um, Kenny McLean's knee during this week. He was out just for one day, but not a concern, so he can he can play. And uh, Ralph uh, Fairman will be out for tomorrow. He's got uh, ground problems since two days, just a slight um, slight problem. So just seven to ten days he will be out. Um, so we'll miss this game tomorrow. Perhaps also the the next game, but uh, not a big uh, big problem. But he will be out for tomorrow at least. How have things been this week? I mean, you you've, you've beaten Manchester City last weekend. Has, has everyone been walking around the training ground smiling? Yes, uh, yes, the sun was shining during this week. That's uh, that's definitely for sure, and I think it's also important that you um, that you enjoy this also a, a bit because if you do, don't value such a situation, it was a really big win. Of course, just three points. Uh, we're not naive, but um, it was of course an amazing day for 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 the big for the whole club and for all the supporters. It's important that you enjoy this also for one or two days. But then, since uh, Monday evening or later since Tuesday, we went back to proper, really concentrated, focused work, and and more or less you got the feeling. So from day to day, we were more concentrated in order to be there with a good performance and a good result, hopefully uh, at Burnley as well. So this game against Man City was, of course, good for the confidence, for the mood, but it won't help us at all uh, at uh, at Burnley. So um, it will be a completely different game, and for that, um, we all know this, and um, yeah, we are prepared. You showed that you can do it against. Manchester City, you can, you can beat there. Do you now have to, to prove that you can do it against the likes of, of, of Burnley and hmm. the match afterwards against Crystal Palace? Hmm. Yes, so it's, in football it's always the same. You always have to prove it again and again, week by week. And uh, this is quite important also in, um, in different games. So it, it's not the solution to say, OK, right now we've beaten one of the best teams, if not the best team in the uh, in the world with a brilliant approach. And right now you just press a button and do the same again. And um, then you will win all the other, uh, other games. So... No other team is playing in the style like Man City, so all the all the other teams have different approaches, and for that, um, you you will always have to work on on different topics. And for example, the Burnley game will be completely different to 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 Man City, and um, we are still um, unbelievable models. So we know that Burnley is meanwhile since uh, several years allowed to to play in the in the uh, in the top flight and the, in the best league in the world, and we are there since since five uh, game days. So uh, we are praised, and uh, to be there after this tough start already to be there with six points uh, is a really good situation but we know that we just have proved since five game days that we are, uh, are competitive on this level and we have to go for that. What type of threat do they pose tomorrow and what areas do you have to be good at? Is it too obvious to say they're a very physical side, they get balls in the box, big powerful strikers are playing with two up top more often mm. than not? Mm. Is it just about that area of the game or do you see it on a broader level? So there are several topics we have to work on, but it's it's certainly right. So this is exactly their their approach, and uh, for the on they have an unbelievably experienced uh, group of players, and uh, they used to play with each other, so they know each other, so they stick together, and you always got the feeling when you see Burnley, it's a team with a good mentality and and and. Uh, yeah, great bunch of uh, of lads and uh, who are sticking together and fight for each other and this is really a special atmosphere, especially in professional football on, uh, on this level. I like um, I like a lot. So their togetherness and their bravery and their spirit and uh, for that um, they have good footballers without without any doubt, experienced footballers. But they are also a pretty physical side and they are also always always dangerous with their crossing situations dangerous out of set play say always awake and switch on to create a good surrounding for second balls and and sharp enough to 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 win the second balls and they have many many bodies in the box and we have to be unbelievable awake um in 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 this topics uh, so when we fight for the second balls we have to be 
unbelievably weak in, in for example crossing defending and and how to defend our our own box and especially uh, at home so i'm pretty sure that uh, against a newly promoted side like us they will be greedy to be there with the next win uh, at home and they've proved several times when um, they need some points especially in the home games they're, they're able to deliver even against uh, sides with a better better and bigger reputation than uh, just a newly promoted side and for them to, uh, i'm full of respect of of um, sean's work and, and full of respect of of uh, burnley it's one more for me that you sort of asked in terms of Burnley or maybe a template club, not in the style of play or maybe maybe even the culture of the club, but you know they finished I think 16th their first season on part of the football league, and then the following season they finished seventh, and now they're four consecutive seasons in the top flight. As a as a club who's shown it's possible, can you take a lot from them and how they've done it? Yes, and this terms it's it's uh, they are definitely a role model because it's it's a club where you could realize okay from step by step they try to try to improve also not with a biggest uh, possibilities in terms of, of spending money of course they have better possibilities because they are meanwhile a permanent member in the Premier League uh, than us for example but got the feeling they are they are modest they are with both feet on the ground they know where, they, where they're coming from and uh, they stick together and they develop from, from day to day in, in these terms um, how you um, are capable to uh, to become a permanent member uh, of uh, of the Premier League, they are perfect role model, and uh, for that, again, so I, I like uh, I I like a lot what they have done in the past, and um, we are full of respect. Yes.